Hi everybody, I'm Cheryl Salem and I'm here with Rhiannon Bell, Dr. Bell. <laughs> this question's from Tina. My 32-year-old son died one year ago. He was my only son. I have no other family. I can't get over the feeling that God has let me down. How can I believe that God keeps his promises to protect my family when I pray daily, even hourly, and my son still died? Mm. Doc, you got anything oh, for us? Oh gosh, <laughs> Tina, that's, that's such a great question and I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, look, I think when we, we go through grief, there's always so many questions, so many whys, and I think it, it's okay to ask those questions, but um, I think recognizing that sometimes we don't always get the answers and, and that God is still faithful. He will answer, but not always the way we yeah. wanted it to be answered and not always with the words. I buried my six-year-old daughter, you mm. probably know that already, and I was the big faith girl and had had so many miracles already and God had already spoken to me. and. I had lived my life with one answer after another answer after another answer, and I get to this one I'm expecting an answer. Mm. But the answer wasn't what I expected. And we had the whole world praying. Everybody was praying. We wrote up little cards, and I put what I expected God to do, and I put the word, and, and the very first one was, with long life, He satisfies us mm. and shows us His salvation. And I remember the morning after Gabrielle crossed over to heaven and I took that little card and we were getting ready for her funeral. And Doc, I, 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 all I knew was that I had this thing I had held in my hand, this picture of her and the scripture and these things that we were all confessing together. And, and the word had always worked exactly how I wanted it. And this one time, God didn't do it the way I wanted. And so I'm putting on my makeup and my husband's come in and he's like, we're gonna speak at the funeral. And this is what I said, I have nothing to say that anybody wants to hear today. Mm. And I turned back to the mirror and I said to the Lord, you did not do what you said you would do. And he said, tell me what I didn't do. And I said, she is not alive. And he said, yes, she is. Not the way you know, but the way I know. And I said, you know what I mean. That is not what I mean. Your alive in heaven does not satisfy my alive on earth. And I began that conversation mad at God, mad because I didn't feel like he did what he said he would do. And he began one layer at a time. And Tina, I'm just talking to your heart now. One layer at a time, I let God get inside and began to pour his balm of Gilead, his healing power, began to transfer from his presence to my spirit. And 20 years later, I can tell you, I don't have one answer today that I, that I didn't have there either, but I have peace. Yeah. And I know she's alive, and I know your son's alive, and I know he's in your future, mm. and I know you can join him if you will get over being disappointed and mad at God, because the whole purpose is that your son stepped into the future, and you can too. So stop looking back. There's nothing back there. Your son's not back there. He's in front of you. Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for being a part of our Better Together community.